Hey everyone, this is Allie and welcome to The Common Room. Today on my channel I have another magical unboxing for you, so keep watching if you would like to see the November box from Geek Gear Wizardry. Okay guys, so we have another Geek Gear unboxing today. This is the November Geek Gear box and with Geek Gear, they do have a few options, but this one is the monthly one. This costs around 35 US dollars plus shipping, and we're guaranteed to get one t-shirt, which I love, and then five to seven more items in this box. Now, before I give you a sneak peek, Geek Gear does always do three hints on their Instagram, so let's go over those first. So for hint number one, Geek Gear had a picture of, it was like a red maroon colored couch sitting in front of a fireplace. And then there was a Christmas tree with a few presents underneath it. So I'm definitely going to assume that it was something like Gryffindor common room related. Now, I honestly couldn't tell you what type of item we would get with that. I'm wondering if maybe we'll get like a Christmas themed shirt. But besides that, I can't really think of a good common room item that we could receive. So we'll have to wait and see what that hint is about. Now for hint number two, this hint had like a saying and I believe you're supposed to try to figure out the riddle to try to figure out what type of item we're getting in the box. Now the saying says, when I'm around, better hide your gold. I'll steal it all, but I'm too cute to scold. What am I? So obviously I'm thinking I'm a Niffler and I'm not exactly sure what type of item that we'll get, but it's definitely gonna be Niffler themed and I'm very excited about that. Then for hint number three, this one was just a simple picture of a wreath, like a Christmas wreath and it had little white circles, which I'm gonna assume are supposed to be little white ornaments, and then a red bow on top of it. Now, I don't know if it's just gonna be something generic -y Christmas related, like with a Christmas wreath, or it could also be something related to, you know, whenever Hermione and Harry go to Godric's Hollow and it's Christmas Eve and Hermione puts the wreath on the potter's grave. I don't know if maybe we'll get some kind of replica associated with that, but I'm kind of excited to see what that's gonna be. But now that we've been over our hints, let me give you a sneak peek into the box. Oh my goodness! There is a box in here that looks like it's a chess piece and you know I love their chess pieces. But there's also, is this the shirt? Let me start with this. It looks like maybe a Christmas themed common room shirt. Let's see. I'm a little sad I opened this after Christmas, so I'm gonna have to wait until next year to wear it. Okay, it's a white shirt. I can just see a Christmas tree popping up on it. Oh, I can see an owl. Okay, I kind of like it, you guys. I'm kind of a little sad that I can't wear it for Christmas. So you can see that we do have what looks to me like the Gryffindor common room. You've got a Christmas tree up and you've got the little couch with the fireplace. And then you can even see Hedwig with the letter in her mouth. It's very simple, but I, I really kind of like it. I like thinking of Hogwarts during Christmas time. I like thinking of how cozy and just happy Harry was in the Gryffindor common room. So yeah, I and I like to think one of these little presents under the tree is for Harry, possibly a Weasley sweater. So yeah, I do actually like this t-shirt a lot. It looks like we have a pin here. So let me show you. It has like a moon on the pin backing. I can't see what it is. Oh, okay. So this is what our wreath hint was about. Let me open this up here. Okay, so on the pin backing, you can see, I said that I saw a moon, but you can see that there's also, like they're in a graveyard. Now the pin itself, I'm not the biggest fan of the pin itself. I definitely understand what the pin is because we see this scene in the movie. You can see that it's like a headstone and there is a wreath placed on the bottom of it, just like Hermione does in the movie. But if you look at it, you see how you, you can't read anything that's on the headstone. It's just like some markings and it doesn't, it doesn't say Potter on it. It doesn't have anything. You can see there's a little bit of snow, but I don't like that they didn't put just a little bit of extra effort in there to put the Potter information on it. Because I mean, if I have this on my pin board 
unless you are like super into the Harry Potter movies, you're not gonna have any idea what this pen is about. So sadly, not the biggest fan of the pen. Okay, I can see there's a wand in here and I can see there's a maybe a chess piece. There's some stuff underneath it. So I'm gonna save those two to last because I know I'm gonna be excited to open them. A little more paper items than I'm used to in a geek gear, but what is happening? It's all these things. I'm gonna open this print because I can kind of see that it says the crimes of Grindelwald on it. Now this is a geek gear licensed exclusive print. But let me take a look. It looks like the print is going to be themed around the movie. And you guys know that the movie prints aren't always my favorite. I prefer them to be, you know, like some artwork, some really pretty design. But let's see what we have. And I'm very upset again because in the last couple boxes I got from Geek Gear, or at least one of them, it was in this really cool frame. And this one isn't even framed at all. But let's see what it is. So it says The Crimes of Grindelwald. Oh, and we have the three baby Nifflers. And it says, Baby Niffler's on there. I wonder if this is maybe our Niffler hint. You can see the little guys. I mean, they are very cute. You can't, you can't help but love them. But for me personally, I'm just not the biggest fan of these types of prints. So, ah, I probably won't be hanging this one up. But if you enjoy Nifflers and you enjoy the movies, you might like this one. Now I pulled a bunch of stuff out of the bottom. I'm thinking that maybe they're Christmas cards. Let me take a look, cause I have, there were four envelopes on the bottom and the envelopes do not have anything in them. They're just blank envelopes. But then there are four of these little, oh, oh, I see what they are. This is kind of cute. So we do have kind of make your own Christmas cards. They're just these little things and you can fold them you know, to make a card. Let me fold this first one and show you, but they're different house themed. So the first one, it's like the common room little scene from the t-shirt, but you can see the first one is a badger for Hufflepuff. So you have the whole scene, but then you have the cute little badger on the couch and you have the little Hufflepuff crest up there with the badger. So that's super cute. And there are four of them. So I was like, oh, is it for each house? I do see that the other mascots are on the other ones. So let me show you each one. So our next one is going to be the Ravenclaw. Now it, it looks like it might be an eagle, which is awesome. Good job, Geek Gear. But you have the eagle with the Ravenclaw scarf on there. And then you can see the Ravenclaw crest at the top. So again, a super cool. This is such a cute little idea for if you have like, you know, a friend in each house that you wanted to send a Christmas card to. Now I have, some of my friends are all in the same house. So I wouldn't have enough to send out to everybody. But let's see. So we have Slytherin next, my favorite. Now the snake guy, he is all wrapped up in the scarf as well. And he is also sitting on the couch. That is so cool. And then you've got your Slytherin mascot crest at the top. But now I love that they're kind of all, like you can tell that these are like the actual size that the animals would be on the couch. So the badger, the snake, the eagle, they're all kind of normal size, but we all know that the lion is going to be a lot bigger than them. So look at how big this guy is. He can't even sit on the couch. He's too big. You see him just sitting in front of the couch. The lion's really cute. I really like his scarf kind of blowing in the wind. And then you've got the crest up at the top. So that's a pretty unique little idea. I like that they didn't just send us, you know, like one little card. They sent us cards with the same kind of design, but for the different houses. So I, I really like that. I think that's a pretty cute little idea. There's another little box in here. I'm going to save it. I am instead going to open the chess piece. I can't tell what it is. Like I realized on the last one, so there's like a silhouette so you can kind of see what it is. 
but the silhouette is not giving much away. I can maybe see a shield, but that's about it. I can't really tell what it is. I might not even know what it is when I open it, but let's see what chess piece we have. All right, guys, so we have, who is this guy? I feel like I should know what this guy is called. Is he a rook? I don't know, I could be wrong. Yeah, his face is a little different on here, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. But it is a really, it's a heavy, it's a nice quality chess piece again. It's another white piece. And you can see that he's like sitting in the tower, which is so fun. I love that they have him sitting in there. See, the only thing, his face has kind of like a mask on it, which is fine. It's probably how it's supposed to be. It just took me a little off guard because the other ones don't have that. He has his little sword right here. And then the little shield is on the side. I do really like the chess pieces. The more I look at it, I'm not I'm not too mad about that mask that he has on because I'm sure it's supposed to be like that. But I really love how they design them. I like the little bit of bronzy paint that they put over it. I'm really getting quite the collection of chess pieces and I am in love with it. I know they used to kind of only put them out every now and then, but I've gotten like four of these guys in the last few boxes. So I cannot complain. I really like the chess pieces. Now, before we open our wand, there is this other little box that kind of looks like a present. I'm trying to think. Okay, the Niffler hint was for our print. The Christmas stuff was the cards and the shirt. Now we still have, oh wait, and the wreath was the pin. So we've already went through our hints, so I have no idea what's gonna be in this box. It looks like a little present, let's see. <gasps> I am so excited, okay. <laughs> Before I get into these, last year, it was, a last, it was a couple of years ago in the Cherry Wallace Geek Gear box, she did a pair of gloves that were the Weasley sweater gloves. There was an H and there was an R and I was not subscribed at the time. And I waited and I bought them directly from the website because I was obsessed with them. And you guys, look what we have. We have a new pair and it's the Weasley Weasley ones. I am obsessed. I don't think I've ever been so happy for anything that I've opened in a Geek Gear box. Not even lying. I think these are incredible. I love the colors. Like look at how bright these orange and purple gloves are. Oh, they're perfect. I know they look like M's, but they're W's. I just can't hold them that way. Weasley and Weasley. Mm -hmm. They're so perfect. They're just so perfect. I'm going to wear them all the time. As soon as we get a little bit of snow or a little bit colder weather outside, it's like summer here for Christmas, but either way, I love these. These are perfection. So I don't know if the wand can top those gloves because I'm obsessed, but let's see what wand we have in here. We've already went through all of our hints, so I have no idea what it could be. It's kind of heavy. Let's give you guys a sneak peek at it. Oh, you can't really tell, can you? What do we have here? It looks kind of interesting, kind of simple. <sighs> it's got another one of those bottle cap things on the bottom of it. <sighs> I don't know if I like it or if I don't like it. <laughs> it's kind of a weird feeling that I'm having. I really, man, it does feel good in my hand. I like the kind of, okay, so it's kind of two-toned. You've got your brown at the bottom here and you've got your black on top. Now I really, really like the top here. I love these thinner wands that they're doing on the top. And this one has a lot of cool little intricate, you know, I like the little curviness here. It's just really nicely done and I like the black color. Now I'm not usually one to mix black and brown together, but I mean, I'm not too mad about the handle. The handle is just brown painted with a little bit of gray. Now it gets a little wider at the bottom of it, but it's kind of nice to hold on to. And I like that gray painting on it because it gives it some more dimension. It makes it look kind of 
like it's cut into it almost. But now the bottom of it kind of took me by surprise because it has one of the last wands that we had had this little bottle cap looking design on it and it was painted like a blue color. I definitely like it painted the silver more. And I don't know how the purple goes with these colors, but man, I love that color purple. Like that gem on there, I'm definitely a fan of that. So I'm going to say all in all, I think I like the wand. It's definitely one that I would use. It's very unique. I haven't seen any with these kind of colors together. Let's look at the wand card, see what they say about it. So on the wand card, it says it's the Gamma Wand. It is, again, 13 and 3 quarter inches. The core is foxglove stem and the wood is koa. I don't know what any of those things mean, but it's a very unique wand. You can see the wand card right there. And yeah, maybe not my absolute favorite from Geek Gear, but I, again, I think it's a pretty cool little wand. Now, I don't know if Geek Gear has just stopped sending cheat sheets, but my box does not have a cheat sheet and it does not have like a scratch off card. So I might have to reach out to them just to see if that's if they've stopped doing that. I do kind of like having a cheat sheet just so I can make sure I got all the items from the box. But since we don't have a cheat sheet, I'm just going to skip straight to the part where I choose my favorites and least favorites. So for my least favorite item in the box, I'm gonna say the pin. I was just a little underwhelmed by the pin. I thought they could have put a little more effort into it, you know, give us some actual words on the headstone. The idea of it was nice. I would like to have a really nice pin of the headstone with the wreath, but I just felt like it kind of lacked a little bit. They didn't put enough effort into that one, I don't think. So it's gonna be my least favorite in this box. There were actually a few really good items in this box. I really like the chest piece. I do like the wand. I mean, I really liked a lot of it. I want to wear the shirt. You know, the cards are really cool. But I think you guys know what my favorite item is. I am so excited to have these gloves. I cannot wait to wear them. They're so brightly colored. I love that the Harry and Ron ones that I have, they're kind of muted or darker colors. They're like a maroon and a dark blue, but then these are orange and purple and very bright. And I'm very, very excited about them. So they are definitely going to be favorite item out of the November box. So overall, I think that the November Geek Gear box was a pretty good box. I was a little worried about it at first whenever I opened the pin. And of course that print just wasn't personally my style, but I feel like all of the other items I'm very, very excited for. So I think that they did a really good job. It was a pretty good little kind of Christmassy themed box. Now I'm filming this after Christmas, but it's still Christmas time. So I'm still in that little bit of a Christmas mood. So yeah, I, I really enjoyed opening this one and I would love to hear what you guys thought about the box as a whole. Definitely leave a comment, let me know what you thought and let me know what your favorite and least favorite items were. Now, moving into the new year, I'm kind of interested to see the approach that Geek Gear is going to take with their boxes. I know that they've been kind of hit or miss, and I feel like each box, you never really know how it's going to go. Sometimes you get some really cool items, and sometimes everything's just kind of lackluster, in my opinion. What I would like to see from Geek Gear in the upcoming boxes would be more of like their replica items. They do some really nice like small size replicas and I haven't seen too many of them. We have been getting the chess pieces, which is really nice, but I definitely think that they should incorporate some more of those into their monthly and special edition boxes. And also I still think something that could really help Geek Gear just take their boxes up to the next level would be if they put some theming in them. Like this one you could tell had a slight theme for like half of the items. There was the Christmas vibe but then not everything went with that theme. Like the Niffler print and the wand weren't really in the same theming. And I always just find it really fun whenever you're opening stuff and you know the theme of it. So your mind's thinking, what's gonna be the next item that we're gonna get? So I think that would be a cool thing for Geek Gear to implement in their next boxes, but definitely let me know what you think about that. 
As always, thank you for watching. If you would like to see more videos related to Harry Potter and the Wizarding World, feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you next time in the common room.